In 2020, paranormal investigators Jeffrey and Michelle Riddle came across two abandoned houses in the middle of the California desert while out exploring. The supernatural activity they experienced led them to inviting Silly and I out to see for ourselves. Someone's in here. Someone's in here. Someone in here? I heard a man's voice in here. I know, I know, that's what I'm trying to say. Wow. Anybody in that little room? What? what was that? That was on there. That was a no, child's no, voice. No, that, that came from over there. there. Huh? I hope you caught that. There's got to be somebody here, dude. No, there's nobody here. Where, where, where are they going to hide? Paranormal Voyages will team up with No Fear Paranormal to investigate both houses over a span of four weeks. What you're about to watch are real supernatural events experienced by both groups and documented by Paranormal Voyages as they investigate California demons. So just take us wherever we well, right, camera so we can- Right here is the first main hot spot. This was probably the first main spot where I think we were doing our live video. We were live and the K2 meters were all pagan red in this where we could, you could actually feel the static energy just running over your whole body. Well, every time we've came in here also, right about where you're standing and I'm standing, this is where we get through the spirit box saying that there's a portal. In, in the beginning, there's a whole lot of a man by the name of Orville and his wife was Elizabeth. And they said that Elizabeth died in the hallway. We've caught light anomalies and stuff. It's here in the hallway, right here by the bathroom and stuff. This is where I was standing and um, this is also the first place I got touched. I said, if you're, you're around me or anyone else is around me, can you please touch me? And I had my hand down and it felt like somebody just kind of went like this and it was just, it wasn't hard or anything. It was just like, like a light, like, light tingle all across my skin. Kind of like just wiping their hand down yes. their arm to say I'm here. Yes. And then this is where I feel a lot of the pressure. I feel like the ceiling like is always sitting on my head. There's so much pressure in this hall. In the beginning, it was more kind of like a real peaceful greeting. Like people, you could just feel all the energy. It seems like as time has gone on, it's got a lot darker. Yeah, it was more of a welcoming and the spirits were more welcoming to us. You know, they are always like jumping, wanting to say hi and say their name and just on and on. Now when you come, it's just, it's just like almost sometimes pure evil. We were at down in about where the kitchen in that front room is at and we were sitting there talking in the spirit box and it was not through the spirit box or anything, it was in the room, you just heard this real loud grunt and sound and you could hear somebody running down the hallway and we were standing, you actually felt the wind go by you. And that was probably the most negative we have ever felt in this house. And back here is where I get a lot of heaviness feeling. I think it's one thing with me is that I have a connection with these houses because when we first came here, it kept calling me to come in this house, stop in these houses, it kept telling him, turn around, turn around. I used to hear my name in here all the time. They used to call me out, call me out. If I asked question or they just say my name and I just felt like I was just being drawn or they were wanting something from me. And it was probably, it was early this summer. I actually broke down in my closet and I cried and he was like, what? And I was like, it's just, it's getting to me about them calling my name here. And I was just like, I'm wondering, is somebody trying to get their help from me? Or is it some, something evil trying to get to me to feel sorry and to get into me? It was just, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It was just, I keep coming back here. I just feel like I'm, something's drawing me. And we've been kind of coming ever since then, just because if you want to experience the paranormal, you definitely will hear. One thing about this house and the other houses, there's no certain time the activity goes on. There is always activity going on. 
day and night here every time we've came. There was one night we were doing an investigation and we was walking down the hallway here and this is my very first time of ever ever seeing something like this and I really don't know what I saw and it was about right here and I looked down and down here at the bottom of the corner there was I don't know what it was but it was about that tall it was right here and I just and I seen the hand come around and it was like that but it was only about this tall and I could see the eyes and the black silhouette of it and about the same time it was um I think it was Celia and I was right there and I think we seen it at the same time and you seen it get startled as we yelled and it ran off and that was probably the the scariest thing I've seen here visually Celia and I were mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. when that happened and actually Celia had seen it with Jeff I was behind Celia I didn't see it but we came back I had seen the same thing a little different except this was uh, transparent and it was about right there where, where he's standing where it said that the portals at. yeah and I asked it to appear and it literally appeared in front of me and shot around and disappeared it's uh some days it can be very scary in here because you just don't know what you're going to get we talked to a couple people here in the this area and they they mentioned about the witch cults that there's supposedly witch cults in the area which i've never been able to fully prove because nobody really ever wants to talk about it but there was one night we were all here out here investigating and way out there there was like lights and a fire or something going and you could hear it was like it sounded like chanting we think it's a a private cult because if you drive out there there's this area and it's out there and there's no building but there's an area where there's like 16 foot tall fences around this area and anyway you could hear this chanting real loud and then it was like i don't know so five ten minutes later that it was just like the most blood curling the scream it was like just somebody was in the most immense pain that you can imagine and it really actually made you feel sick to your stomach when you heard it because you felt like your heart dropped out the bottom it was so that was that was pretty bad and it never really got violent after that until whenever they did that i heard a whistle i did i heard whistling and talking did y'all hear that I, I just heard whistling. I heard somebody talking in my ear that's why I was turning my head I heard a whistle plain as day in my ear like somebody just whistled and that's why I looked at you that's why I was okay. looking to my left oh I heard somebody talking in my ear so you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> in this area right here before the sacrifice that they did in here but right here there used to be a part of a table we used to set our digital recorder up on these little shelves and stuff and our other camera right there just to see what we would catch in this room and this area and we would be up at the at the other house we just let it run out here with nobody out here somewhere in this area where we caught the women talking to the, the little kids I don't know, it was what, like 20 minutes into, because it, it, it was constant digital recording of this woman talking to kids, you hear kids giggling. It lasted about 25, 30 minutes on the recorder. It was constant the whole time. This is the house also where we hear when we put the digital recorder in and we leave the house for a couple hours, sounds like large furniture, pieces of furniture moving across the floor. Because it, it was never negative here in the beginning until they did some type of ritual because in this room right here is where we found the rabbit that was it was a dead rabbit it was a, apparently he had been sacrificed our followers on our small small little group that we brought here the girl who came with us she was scratched down her face which kind of really caught all of us off guard because i think there was what seven of us in that room 
she said she uh, had scratches and she kept having a burning sensation on her neck. I think overall in this house, it was fine. And then until after when we seen the rabbit on the floor, that's when things took a turn in this house. Basically had neck problems and back problems for two weeks. I was in so much pain and I never had that until I went in that room. Um, that's the room I didn't get scratched. We was doing an episode, I think we're with y'all. And that was the very first time I actually had to ever leave because it just felt like, I don't know, it was the most excruciating pain I ever personally have ever had where it felt like something was trying to pull my lower spine out of my back. I don't feel very good. Hold on, hold on, Jeffrey, you got it. What just happened? Mm -hmm. Nothing, probably just shut off. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going back in there. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. What are you no. feeling? I just feel like I'm going to throw up. So I don't feel good. I hear noise out there. Back? Yeah, oh man, right there. I'm, I'm staying out. I'm not going to say any, say a certain name, but that happened to somebody that we brought in this house. Do you remember about the back pain? And mm -hmm. then it started with the yeah. stomach. They experienced the same thing. You're not allowed to attach no, yourself me. to I'm, Jeff I'm, I'm, or I'm any of us. You said your back is hurting? Yes. Well, it, started back it felt like, like there, it started my stomach and then it went to, we just sent her friend that kept calling my name. It just felt like somebody was just pushing on, like pulling on my kidney, squeezing them like. The lower part of my spine just felt like somebody was just taking like something grinding on it. Oh man, I just. <sighs> All right, well, you need I'll, to tell I'll, it that it can't follow you, it you can't control you, can't do it. anything. You cannot touch me, you cannot follow me. You are to stay here. You are never to follow me in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Just leave me alone. You have to stay, stay here. here. And also, it was our first experience doing what we do. Actually, seen what happened to Celia in that room. I have never seen, I've seen on TV and everything in pictures, but I've never seen it actually happen to somebody where you see scratches just oh, appearing. And they just start to slowly form on. And they start forming on. Her back was red and that was in that same room. Yeah, this, it's just ever since they did the uh, ritual in here has been completely negative in here. Who's they? We don't know who did it. We don't know who it could be coals there's all kinds of people i definitely ain't gonna put no satanic symbols on no house i'm i'm not doing none of that a lot of wild stuff if you just set a digital recorder and just leave it here you just hear knocking heard something move sound like behind you it feels kind of weird just i don't know for actually standing here i just feel like i'm just feeling some weird vibes coming out of this room for real right now um that's why I keep looking there. I don't know if I feel like I'm being watched or it's want, it's want me to come in there, but I just... I don't know. You're guaranteed you're going to get something. I mean, when there's nobody here and you hear... Your light just went out. Yeah. Yours what? went out. How did it drain so fast? I don't know. Mine is still on, is it? Yeah, no. it's still his, on. his just completely drained. I know, I just, I got, uh, I have goosebumps all over me. Yeah, it's out. Too. Come here, Slay, look, camera. Already drained that fast? And we just started. Transmitter's draining too, right here. I'm trying to auto, okay, got it. Receiver's fine, it's got two, two bars, transmitter's draining. Do you feel it something, is it, yeah, or is it's it me? Yeah, it's heavy, it's heavy in there. Well, it is again. Something just feels weird right now. After I heard that little knock and it just feels like something. We all ready for tonight? I'm always ready. ready.